Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, the 17th of December, 2020. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, so today is about adventure. It's about going out, doing something different. It's about utilizing what is called and what is known as the Andromedan energy. This is the energy that gives you that, right, adrenaline rush, not the kind, not, not on drugs, not of any drug nature. This is Andromedan energy that is within us that it's kind of like jump in and go for it. Do something different. Go on an adventure. Get in the car. Take a drive. Whatever it is, change it up. Get outside. Get out in Mother Earth. Um, do something different today. Today's all about adventure. That's the word of the day today. Adventure. Venture out. Okay? All right. Thank you all for your kind comments. I am humbly grateful to each and every one of you. We're going live tomorrow. Are you guys ready? No, not for four hours. <laughs> but maybe two. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see what's happening. Why are we not manifesting? Maybe we're going to take a break. Maybe today we're going to take a break, right? Maybe it's not time yet. Let's just, let's just really go with the flow here. Let's really just go with the flow. It's not like we're not going with the flow, right? Because this is going with the flow, as you see the infinity, yeah? But reverse means take a break. Maybe universe is saying, today, go out and do something different. Don't worry about this not happening yet. It's gonna happen. Let's see if that's the message, okay? Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I know you guys were wondering if that king and queen of swords are coming out. Something's happening. This means make something happen that's out of the norm. That's what this means. It means go out, take a drive, Make a phone call. Take a chance. Take a chance on life. That's what that is. Serious. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? Take a chance. That's what it is. Take a chance on life. This King of Swords, he's been through the ringer. I mean, come on, you've been on this journey with me, with this guy. And now he's taking a chance on life. And maybe he's going to take a chance that is, you know, it's totally out of the norm. It's not, it's, it's definitely venturing out of the norm. Like every day, right? The same old, same old, same old. No offense to the infinity sign, but... Now he's taking a chance, or she. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, coming out. As I said that, he showed up. He got mad, right? He wants, he wants, he wants all the airtime. Who is this guy? All right, we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. So he's taking a break. Why? Because he's tired. Universe is saying, aren't you tired yet? of juggling all these tools and trying to make money, trying to happen, why aren't you just living your life? Take a day off. That's what this is. He's taking a day off. He's doing something completely different that is like, I don't want, I'm tired of constantly being in my headspace. I just want a day off. I'm say, not saying that we don't have days off, right? But I feel like I'm stuck. I'm in my head. Did we, we just said. I got to get out of my head so that I can go and adventure out into the world, into the vast world that I usually don't do. I don't take, I'm not spontaneous, right? Who, who, whomever is saying this. 
I'm not spontaneous. I'm, I feel like I'm always stuck behind a desk or at work and thinking, or I'm always thinking, sitting home, thinking, right? Like, when is this going to change? How can it possibly change if you're not going out? Where can I go? Everything's closed. Well, take a drive. Take a walk. Pack a lunch and sit outside and eat. Take a book. Take your journal. Go meditate. Do something out of the norm. That's what this guy is doing. So that when you do that, when we've said that Andromedan energy, when utilized, is utilized for not only your, obviously, your higher purpose, but as a creative. Be creative. Look at That's the magician saying, come on, let's get creative. Let's do something. Be it a creative project do some drawings, read a book, listen to music. If it, if it means lay on the couch and listen to Christmas carols or whatever, do something that will stimulate you but not stimulate your mind. Get out of your mind. We're trying to stimulate your creative juices. The, and hence, that's the energy. And I'm feeling this energy as I'm talking to you. I think I'm going to go and draw right now or paint. Okay. You, there's a little glare here. I'm sorry. You can't see all the cards. I apologize for that. That's better. Okay. Let's see what else is happening. So now we have to get out and do something. Yes. Well, some of, some of you are drinking. All right. Like, if you, if you didn't think you had a drinking problem before, right? <laughs> I'm trying to lighten it up because we've all, we all have a story. We all share the pain, the suffering, the losses, the uncertainty, the unknown. But why not make the best of it while we're doing that? So get out of your head and take a chance, enjoy, you know, call, call a friend and say, come on, grab a gra glass of wine, let's FaceTime, let's Zoom, whatever, and let's just like, let's laugh. When's the last time you laughed? When's the last time that you did something that was totally not you? Do that. time. It's time to soar. It's time to fly. It's time to use your intuition. It's time for new creative projects to be uncovered. The time is now because we only have this life. We only have this moment in time. That's where that came from. This moment in time. This is all we have here. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. So don't think today. Do me a favor. To all my subscribers, to every viewer watching this video, right now in this moment, I want you to not work today. I want you to not think I want you to get out of your headspace. Get out of this humdrum, woe is me mentality. And I want you to soar. I want you to do something creative today. That is completely unlike you. Today, I'm going to make this quick so we can upload this so you guys can get this message before you've gotten so far into your headspace that you can't get out. Today, 
we're not thinking. We're going to take a break. Today, we're going to get out. We're not going to be defensive. We're not going to think too much about, oh my God, woe is me. Where's the money coming from? Oh yeah, that. Well, how am I going to make money if I take a day off? Really? Just do it. And I'm not a Nike commercial, but just do it. Just get out. Just get out. Even if it's difficult, even more reason when it's difficult to make the decision to just get out. Get out of your head. Get out of your thoughts. Get out of, get out. It's time. Look it. People are flying again. <laughs> Fly high. Go do something different that's going to make you happy. And guess what happens? The wheel will turn. Oh my God, you go sitting there, let's just say, meditating, thinking, what am I gonna do today? Wow, she's telling me to get out of my head. That's not easy to do. All right, so I'll try it. I think I'll sit on the couch with maybe a glass of wine or a beer or whatever, your, or water, a tea, Whatever, you don't have to drink, drink. But for now, I think I'm just going to like take the advice. I mean, if the King of Swords can show up for frapping like almost two weeks now, back to back, I think this is all of us, I really do especially with these cards. I think that someone has got to get out of, we all have to get out of this mentality of stuck, of, oh my God, if I take a day off, what's gonna happen to my house, my mortgage, my home, my property, my kids? How am I gonna pay for this? How am I gonna pay for food, clothing, blah, 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 blah. But today, is your day off. It doesn't mean that you're going to do it every day. <laughs> if you can, that's even, I mean, if you can have a couple days, great. Do whatever it takes. But I'm going to tell you, this reading is for those people who are going to change it up so that they can be inspired by this wheel you're going to have a chance to fly if you do something that's going to make you happy your energy is going to take off it's, you're going to lift off don't be so concerned about what you don't know what maybe you know maybe you're you're holding back because you're like well, I don't really know what to do. I don't even really have, I don't have a clue. Read a book. Start Googling other avenues. This is what I'm saying. This reading is for those who are going to venture out, out of the norm. This Andromedan energy is going to lift you off into a new adventure. And you're going to jump into something creative and then he's going to turn around surrender to what you think you need to do every day humdrum over and over well you know it's easy for her to say she's at home doing readings it's my job too it's one of my jobs I'm launching a book. I've been writing the last five months. As my daughter went left for school, I found other avenues to use my creativity. Today, I'm not going to write because I've been I'm complete. But I'm looking for publishers. If you know one, send me a send me a 
a good one, <laughs> a fair and good one. If you do, let me know. If you don't, it's cool. I'm working on that. I want to launch this in the first of the year. So that's my goal. And today, I think I'm going to, well, I have some readings to do, but in the, in the middle, in at the time that I have a moment, I do call my friends. I do reach out to see if they're doing well. I do draw. It's my minor. English is my major. Why am I telling you this? So that you can see that you can see that we all need to take a break from the humdrum because if you don't, the universe will do it for you. So take a minute, journal, rest. When you give love to yourself, you will get that love in return. But first, you have to change it up. You can't expect the energy as we are because we're just we are just this vessel encapsulated by the universe, right? We are the universe, I should say it the other way. We are the universe in this body. And if you show the universe that you're going to change it up, you're going to start creating things that you never even possibly dreamed of. Spirit saying, when you focus on something else, it's just like anything else in life, when you focus your attention, intention, attention, on doing things that make you happy, creative projects perhaps this wheel you're going to come up with some you're going to come up with a couple backup plans for business for ideas to do for work if that's what you're seeking if you're not maybe that new energy of taking a day to rest your mind and not do anything other than be creative or rest Taking the day off, right, from this, and you are going to soar. It's time. And it's funny he came out. I think God, God does have a sense of humor, for sure, right? Everyone needs, the reason why he came out is because he's the thinker. He's the strategize. He strategizes. He's the he's the lawyer. He's the mortgage broker. He's who whoever he is or she. It's about the reason why this King of Swords has come out so much is because his life, her life, our lives are transforming. It's time to get out of our heads and love your life, if you're doing work just to get a paycheck, why not figure out something slowly, baby steps, to change it up? Maybe you can do a job that or will require maybe whatever educational, you know, or certif certification you may need to change it up and do something from home. The world is changing. We must change with it. And that requires us to get out of the normal everyday stuff. Because it's not really working for many. People are sitting home, businesses are closing. But if you can like, Take yourself out of the equation of I need a paycheck for today and just do something extraordinarily simple. 
just for you. Do something today that's going to make your heart soar. Your heart soar. And then this unknown project, idea, business, uh, expansion of is going to hit you out of the blue. And that's why he's come out. And it's God's way of saying, <laughs> you didn't think he was coming, he's, he's here. And then this truly will write itself up. And then you're going to be writing me about, oh my God, I'm, I'm sitting home with, you know, whatever, doing whatever, and suddenly I think of an idea that may be helpful for others. How can I serve is the question. Today, I'm going to use the Oracle, Faded Oracle, for one card to close up this reading so that I can upload this because by the time some of you guys watch it, you'll be ready for bed. But that doesn't mean you don't do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. It's time to play. I just saw the dolphins. If that comes out, I, I swear. <laughs> I'm serious. One card, please. <laughs> God. Yeah, the creator. That's right. <laughs> and at the bottom, trust. Trust in God, right? In God we trust. I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you want to call. God, universe, spirit. Doesn't matter. We're all connected. We're all one. In God we trust. Have a great day.